that coffee was awful. So I thought we should go a new way today, not because it's close to anything, but just because there's something to see. Howdy building. So that's one of his earlier works, and I'm pretty sure it's not open, at least not at the moment. It might be just for renovation, or maybe it's still a private residence, I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Was that worth detouring for? Yeah, that was cool. Today we were headed to the restaurant we went to yesterday because it was very good. Our first stop of the day. I'm really looking forward to this sandwich. Oh, that looks really good. How is it? Mine too. The bread is so good. So good. Here's what I recommend. And let them put all the sauces on and all the stuff in. And you'll be fine. It's only 350. But the good ones usually are. Because Because they're just making good food. They're not trying to rip you off. Exactly. What I think of as a real espresso, not the ones that come out in cups twice this big and are full to the top. So this place was recommended by our guide, Lisa. Is that her name? Yep. Lisa, from the Ronald Bean walking tour that we took the other day. Let's see how it is. Mmm, it's good. This makes up for the awful one I had this morning. So the next one we're going to is a restaurant that has cakes that are two good. Lisa says are really good, so since we just ate lunch, you know, <laughs> what did you end up with? I don't know what it's called. I didn't ask. Oh. I just pointed <laughs> sometimes. And I did ask what this was called, but I'm not sure now. What does it taste like? Well, I think it's got a, in between the layers, it's maybe an uh, apricot paste with a liqueur in it maybe. It tastes a little woozy. <laughs> it tastes like apricot. So, the cake was pretty good. I must say I enjoyed it. The tea was not very good mint tea, but whatever. But the part that got me was the sticker price at the end. $15.60 for two pieces of cake and a coffee and a tea, which is like double what we just paid for a really good lunch. I would say that you have to really, really like cake <laughs> to uh, want to go there because... I really, really like cake and it wasn't that great. Though. You have to really, really want cake to go there, put it that way, because that money could have been much better spent in other ways, like just gelato. Or would you recommend it to others? I wouldn't either. Our next stop on the food tour is not till dinner, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do now. It's only 2.20. We have lots of time we could wander over to the Rambla, look in the Bocaria market. Yeah, let's do that. We haven't done that before yet. finally going in. So we've walked by this place like four or five times. Yeah. We always talk about going in, but this time we're actually going in. We're not on our way to anywhere else, that's probably why. Yeah, that's true. Makes a difference. Do you think they're different colors on the other side? Well, I don't know what a bocaria is, but apparently he started it. It says the bocaria of him. We found these in the market. Just one year. One year. Mine's pineapple, coconut, banana, and it's really, really oh. yummy. Whoa! Gone already. So good. So, this place was on my list, and we just found it by accident. I think we're gonna go in. Yeah, Cool. Well, that was a short visit. It's closed. Yeah, the lady told me it's closed. Like, okay. It was all roped off. But we got to see the wax giants, including that the martyr who got killed for her faith. She, would, she wouldn't give it up, and they tortured her 13 times because she was 13 years old. And then they put her in a barrel full of broken glass and knife blades and stuff and rolled her down a hill 13 times in that barrel. And then they crucified her on an X. And so if you see someone, a statue or a wax thing like that, holding a cross that looks like an X, it's probably her. She didn't have a good life. I'd say. <laughs> or a good death. 
Yeah, it's a very crappy. sad story. We are on our way to a place called Bly tonight. It's supposed to serve really good pinchos, which are like little pieces of bread with stuff stuck to them with toothpicks. We ate at a place like that a couple days ago. One of them was like bisqueta, one of them had a slice of quiche on it. And this place is supposed to be better and cheaper. Do you want to explain how the pincher system works? Uh, they count your toothpicks when you're done. They charge you about a toothpick. That's right. The different kinds of toothpicks have different prices. Oh, so really? one may be one euro and one might be one euro fifty or something like that. And so you hold on to your toothpicks, give them to the people working at the end, huh. and they charge you based on that. I have the tiniest little egg and bacon, a king prawn, and it looks like camembert. Camembert, yeah, and something that looks like dessert. I think I'm gonna try the shrimp with one point. I'm not sure what it is. So maybe it's caviar. I reckon it is camembert. So what's this one? Chicken, basil, and I thought maybe it was avocado. Well, I'll tell you confidentially that I like this place way more than the other place. It's much more informal feeling, better atmosphere. Like, yeah. Just relax. People working here, nice. The other ones yeah. were a little bit stiff. Huh? Yeah. Someone went to town on their pinchos. Did you see this one? It's half an avocado I saw that. and smoked salmon on a little piece of bread. Okay, cheesecake. I have a piece of quiche on a piece of bread. <laughs> I saw this one. I had to go for it. I don't even usually eat hot dogs, but when it's a hot dog on a stick. So take these up to pay. Yeah. This place, it's good. Yeah, that was fun. Our last stop tonight and our last stop on the Barcelona food tour. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, although that's not possible because we got to eat all yeah. that stuff. Do so, you want to say good night to the viewers? Oh, now it stops. What? Now it stops. It stops. You don't notice the lack of noise any, all of a sudden? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to tell the viewers what we're up to today? Um, we are headed to a restaurant that we went to yesterday that was really good. And then we're going to look for... Yeah. I'm flopping my hair. Do you want to not be doing that <laughs> when you talk to the viewers? <laughs> I'm trying to get my hair to dry. <laughs> <laughs> So, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most and 1 being the least, how do you rate the presentation of your food? Well, it was about a 10 until I put the lid on. <laughs> and then I carried it upside down. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I would never think to put rice in a salad, but there's oh. got rice in it. And, it was, and I was thinking about being picky about what things I wanted in it, because I'm not a huge fan of green peppers unless they're grilled. and I'm, Olives, I like black olives, but I'm not really wild about green olives, and this had a sliced up combination of both, and I was going to say, seen this, seen this, <laughs> the different things. But then when she said everything, I was like, yeah, whatever, go for it. And it's all good. It's, and the flavors are all mixed together with their sauces and everything, the textures and the flavors, it's really, really good. Today's life lesson, <laughs> which we've never included before, probably won't include this time, and will certainly not include in future videos, is take a chance. Uh, I don't know. Could you maybe... Hold the lid and cookie for a moment. The lid and cookie. <laughs> Not the oh other part. Oh my gosh. They're coming. They're coming this way. Oh, this one's going off into space. Goodbye. Bye. It's like Picasso and Gaudi combined. Yeah. And there's something quite Ugly. Ugly. It's crazy. I've never been to so many places with timed entry tickets everywhere in Spain. Well, if you don't go and it's just a bad idea, because then you have to wait in a really long queue just to buy tickets for some random time that they assign you. 
the food tour continues, we're gonna go try a place in... Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll film that again later. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> yeah. I reckon it is, Ma. <laughs> She makes so much fun of me for that. Oh my god, you should talk about making fun of people related to you. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> it's the Australianness. I lived there for too long. Hick, Idaho, you lived there too no, long. No, <laughs> I didn't. I never heard anyone say it there. It's normal in Australia. Along with saying cheers for thanks and that sort of thing, which Cam laughs at. My brother, you may remember from earlier videos. I just told her that the napkin dispenser is a better filmographer than she is, and she laughed and agreed. <laughs> All right. You got to study your hand. You turn it for me to just voice over here. Oh well, if you like. <laughs> I said. You wanna repeat that observation? It's a hot dog on a bun, not a hot dog on a bun on a slice of bread. I have noticed that as well. <laughs> Do you want to film for this? Just me in the mirror. Not the camera, me. Oh, oh, oh. Are you? You're not in the mirror. It's just you. Oh yeah. What? I guess yeah. You are. Can in you the see mirror. me? <laughs> <laughs> have another what? drink, Kenny. Oh, <laughs> Okay. And then, and then, as I'm doing this, okay. you pan to the real me, so that oh. the shot finishes on me, actually. Okay. Alright, check shot. All these orders. Yeah, it worked out. We don't get a little 